Hey guys, Logan Dunning, logandunning.com. Have you ever opened Visual Studio 2022 or maybe lower and you normally have a web API project and a front end project that you're kind of running with the multiple startup projects you have up here in the corner? And for some reason, as soon as one opens, either the Swagger endpoint, you know, web page or your front end, uh, it'll just kind of die. And then they just both close. You don't see the, uh, you know, the stop button is not debugging anymore. And when you look in the output window or the error list or the debug build order, any, you don't see anything, um, you know, so it's hard to Google something or throw it into chat GPT when you don't have any message. I'll just show you what worked for me when you open Visual Studio, you hit run and the project won't run. So this could be very generically helpful or, you know, uh, you know, a per case situational based uh, might depend on the helpfulness, but worked for me. So um, essentially um, this is the current you know version I got, which could be different from yours, but I would just say try it because it doesn't take too long. Actually, this, this, this video will be longer than it'll take to try this. So normally I have it stuck on uh, Microsoft Edge, you know, Edgium, the Edge Chrome one, um, not your grandma's Edge or, you know, the previous version. Um, I just prefer it, the deb debugging experience to each their own. Um, and it just wouldn't work. And I think one of the reasons is Bing or Microsoft pushed that whole update to Microsoft Edge that has the chat GPT variant built in on the sidebar there. And then all of a sudden this morning it wouldn't work. So what I did is um, I have Google Chrome installed, but I don't know what this one is, right? Um, maybe that's just one that's added whatever. This When I hit this and I hit start, like nothing actually happens in terms of opening a web browser. So, you know, nothing's happening, but then if I wanted to, I could go to and then if I wanted to, I could just open up Edge. And there's a thing I was telling you about, but it could be related, maybe not. And I can just go to, you know, whatever it's debugging on. This is the API and the front end also works as well, but it doesn't crash it, right? Um, yeah, so that's basically it um, until they update it. You know, if you use my Microsoft Edge, Edgium for debugging it and it just opens it and crashes, you can just change that and it'll work as expected. Essentially, the behavior is this. You hit start. And, you know, your two different console windows open. It tries to open the page. And it just dies. That's it. You know, you don't even know. You look in the uh, output, nothing. Can't see anything. So, yeah, that's a quick way until they fix that. Microsoft essentially just change it to whatever. It doesn't matter. And then you can use the browser of your choice by just typing in those URLs. Thanks, everyone. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.